Thank you for your interest in the inaugural ACLS Open Access Book Prizes, generously supported by Arcadia, a charitable fund of Lisbeth Rousing and Peter Baldwin. My name is Sarah McKee, and I'm the project manager for Amplifying a Humanistic Scholarship at ACLS, which is a consortium of 80 academic societies. This information session provides a brief overview of the prize structure, as well as a close look at the submission process. For more than 100 years, ACLS has supported humanistic scholarship through its grant and fellowship programs, which provide funding to individual scholars at all levels, from graduate students to senior faculty, across a wide array of disciplines. But in recent years, ACLS has begun to explore other ways to support the humanistic community by using its connections to various constituencies, scholarly societies, our ACLS fellows and grantees, humanities deans, and organizational affiliates, which include library and publishing groups, to launch new initiatives that foster conversations and accelerate institutional change around some of the most pressing issues in higher education. Amplifying humanistic scholarship engages with the changing landscape of publishing as a critical part of the humanities infrastructure, and we've taken a particular interest in open access publishing as a way to expand the reach of humanistic research and demonstrate its relevance. The open access book prizes seek to recognize and reward the authors and publishers of exceptional, innovative, and open humanities scholarship over the course of a three-year pilot period. We hope that the prizes will help to raise the profile and the prestige of open access publishing among humanities scholars, and as a result, encourage more scholarly presses to invest in open access publishing. In the initial competition for 2023, we are offering awards to open access monographs published in two categories from 2017 through 2022. The first category is history. Eligible works in this category include historical examinations of all eras, geographical regions, peoples, and or cultural developments through any theoretical lens. The second category is multimodal born digital works. Eligible works in this category will demonstrate effective and innovative use of the online environment in any humanistic discipline. The multimodal work must contain the entirety of the monograph's text and function as a standalone edition, so in other words, not as a companion website to a separate print edition. So these works might take the form of an enhanced ebook, which includes digital components not available in the print edition, or they might take the form of an entirely born digital interactive work that doesn't have a print edition at all. And please note that, that entries in both categories must be published in English. A quick word here about what we mean by open access monograph. First, we define monograph as a distinct genre that offers a long form scholarly argument on a single subject in the humanities or the interpretive social sciences. So edited collections, anthologies, critical editions, textbooks, and creative works are not available or not eligible for the prize. Open access is defined here as a digital work freely available to anyone anywhere in the world with internet access. Eligible submissions must have been published as immediate open access, meaning that the open edition was published simultaneously with any other print or ebook editions. They must also be free of digital rights management, and we also require that they be distributed on at least two platforms, uh, which may include the publishers and or authors websites. The idea here is that we want to encourage publishers to make their open access books as visible and easy to discover for people um, both inside and outside academia as possible. The winning title in each category will receive dual awards. Authors will receive the $20,000 ACLS Open Access Book Prize, and publishers will receive the Arcadia Open Access Publishing Award in the amount of $30,000 to support forthcoming books that would not otherwise be published open access. The prizes will be presented at an award ceremony in May 2024 at the ACLS Annual Meeting in Baltimore. We plan to announce more categories in subsequent years of the competition. 
The submission period is open now and runs through Friday, September 1st. The evaluation process will take place during the fall with a short list of five titles announced in each category by the end of the year. Winners will be notified in early 2024, and we hope that they will be able to attend the ceremony in Baltimore. The judges will consider not only evidence for rigorous and impactful scholarship, but will also give attention to the manner in which the open access editions were produced and distributed. In the multimodal category, we also look closely at the design choices and preservation plan for the enhanced or interactive edition. We are looking to reward and encourage publishing practices that maximize opportunities for accessibility and truly benefit the widest number and array of authors and readers. These considerations are reflected in the questions on the entry form and judges for the prizes will include scholars as well as specialists in scholarly communications, digital accessibility and digital humanities. So how do you apply? First, only publishers may submit the official entry form. We certainly encourage publishers and authors to be in communication about the submission, but ultimately the form must be submitted by a representative from the publisher. There is no fee for entry and each publisher or distinct imprint may submit up to three titles in each category for a maximum total of six entries. To find the entry form, Click apply at the top of the competition page. And here's the URL to the competition page. And here's the apply button. Note that you cannot save your work on the form for later. It must be completed in one sitting. A sample PDF of the questions is available at the bottom of the competition page so that you can gather the necessary materials and craft answers in advance. And so everything that we're covering in this session today is also listed here on the competition page. And as you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find um, that sample entry form under supporting documents. So to actually apply, click the apply button to go to the live entry form. Uh, the form is divided into four categories. The first two categories, submission information and publication information, um, are very straightforward sections to gather information about the publication, the author, and the publisher. So here, you know, we're looking for which category you're entering, the discipline of the book, um, you know, the obvious questions about the title, the copyright year, the author names, ORCID IDs if available, publisher contact information, and of course, very important, the URLs. And we encourage you to list all of the URLs so that we can see um, what kind of distribution the, the book has had since its publication. The final two sections, scholarly impact and access and accessibility are more subjective. So here we ask a brief series of open-ended questions that reflect our interest in the quality of the scholarship as well as the manner in which it was made open. While we're curious to hear the details from publishers about how they are making these works openly available though, we also understand that open access publishing comes with challenges and investments as well as a learning curve. So we're trying not to be overly prescriptive um, in our requirements at this stage, but we are taking the opportunity to highlight some issues and practices that we see as important for the health of open scholarship. And as previously noted, we're asking our judges to give these issues some attention and consideration as part of the review process. Um, so here's the scholarly impact section, and here is the access and accessibility section. I hope this overview has been helpful and that you are ready to submit. Please reach out to me anytime with questions at oabookprizes at acls.org and sign up for the prize newsletter to receive updates about the competition. Thank you.